from West Dallas dudes. I got chased. Uh, I, I was at uh, I had went to the Super Bowl, the West Dallas Super Bowls, uh, the West Dallas Vikings against the West Dallas Rebels. Uh, you know my nigga Dewberry coach league league football. So I had a documentary crew, had a film crew that was with me, uh, that accompanied me to the game. Uh, I was just supposed to be there for briefly. Uh, but I went over there running my big mile, uh, telling the kids that if they if they cause the fumble, I'll pay $40 or $20. If they sack the quarterback, $40. They catch an interception, $20. And so I'm I'm over here talking like a motherfucker. Now, in my mind, these little motherfuckers ain't fit to do none of this to get this money. Yeah, I might give out $20, $40, $60. Say, man, them little niggas went out there. Them niggas, I ended up passing out over $700 worth of money. I had to go to the AT machine and everything. So I done put my foot in my mouth. So I got to wait till the game over. And so that uh that put me in a vulnerable position, man. So that, 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 that left me in West Dallas for like two hours, and everybody knew I was there. So it was, it was, it was, it was niggas plotting on me, uh, trying to get niggas to jump on me and rob me. Uh, and I was by myself with just the film crew. Uh, and I caused a big commotion. So uh, after the game was over, uh, I was giving Big Dewberry a ride over to the park. Dewberry, big brother. And uh, noticed the nigga looked like a car was following. Postseason perks are here. New community designed of Watch 2 Cosmetics. Our skins for heroes including Sojin, Junker Queen, and Kiriko. And three for... And uh, see, when I dropped him off at the store, it's this center block that's right in the driveway. So as I was bagging out, trying to hurry up and rush at this car that was following me, that was pulling in, uh, man, I ran into I ran into that thing, uh, trying to trying to get out and get away. And uh, she, that when the niggas jumped out on me, the niggas in the car, they had jumped out on me, uh, and so they had blocked me in, circled me. Uh, she, where well, I couldn't leave, so I, you know, she, I called a tow truck. Shit, uh, we was at a standoff for a while. So wait, wait, the dude, the dudes who were following you, did you? Why didn't you call the police? Uh, well, it took me an hour and a half before I called the police. Uh, the the niggas just didn't jump. They didn't jump right out with the guns. Uh, they jumped out with the fighting shit. But it was a bunch of them. It was like five, six of these. One of them niggas about sixty years. The nigga that really wanted to fight was sixty years old. He was the OG. Uh, nigga had a big old gray beard, big old muscles, big bald head. Uh, uh. And you didn't have a gun? No, nah, I ain't have a gun. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't take my guns to the little kids game. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, I don't want to be the one in front of kids. Uh, but I wouldn't go be there alone neither though. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would go get in and out. Uh, but, but to honor my commitment and keep my word to those kids, uh, I end up staying like an hour and a half, almost two hours, and it started getting dark. So it just happened as it was getting dark. So uh, when I wrecked the car, uh, she, a uh, big dude hadn't even got out the car yet. So he knew the niggas. So, uh, you know, uh, she, we were going back and forth. They were going back and forth. Nigga telling me to get out the car. So I called AAA. Uh, once I got AAA situated, shit, I got out the car with my weapon. My pig poker, my taser, uh, and all that shit. Uh, so more people started coming. Uh, more people started coming. So now it's like a big melee, and I'm blocked in. Uh, it took it took AAA like an hour and a half to get there. So uh, at this point, uh, nigga, West Dallas was starting to divide. Cause you know you got big Dewberry and them with me, Dewberry. Uh, big yard and them, so there's a whole bunch of niggas rocking with me, saying, "Man, y'all ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing to this nigga." So it's some, it's some more niggas hiding by. I dish, I dish West Dallas. He said West Dallas. He said my hood, and then, and, and he talking cuz talk, and then he called in the California. He called the California nigga. So I'm saying, man, am I in danger, or is this all for show? But I still don't know, cause it's heated. No, 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 it's, 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 it's heated, homie. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's heated. Dewberry whooped the nigga. Dewberry bust the nigga my ass wide open. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so when the tow truck finally show up, he can't get in and get my car. So I got to pull out and drive my car out to Hampton. And so w when I done that, uh, it, 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 it isolated me away from the niggas who was riding with me. And it put me right in close proximity of the dudes that really want to get me. So I'm over here by myself with these niggas who really, they really can just get me. Uh, I seen what the nigga was trying to do. Uh, you know, trying to e ease over there to me. I didn't recognize he had the gun on him at the time. Uh, so yeah, when I, uh, when I reached into the bag to grab my baton, uh, the nigga pulled a pistol. Mm. Uh, so, you know, I throw my hands up. Uh, tell nigga, I'll bitch that nigga, you gonna shoot me? And he said, yeah, I'll shoot you in your head. Uh, the way he would, I was watching his arm, and he was holding that motherfucker tight. And I'm saying in my mind, this and nigga wanna shoot me like a motherfucker. So uh, I turned my back to him uh, and said, that nigga will shoot me, he gonna look like a coward, cause he gonna have to shoot me in my back. I'm gonna make him look like a coward if he killed me. So I turned my back to him uh, and kept my hands up. And when he didn't shoot me, I said, I'm gonna call the police on this bitch. And he got me fucked up and scared me. <laughs> nigga, I text you, yeah, I called my say, Nigga, I called Atlanta. I called my gang unit nigga in Atlanta. And I said, say, homie, they got me boxed in and surfing. I can't go nowhere. Nigga just pull a gun. He said, what? And nigga, within a minute, nigga, paddy wagons, police, sirens, goddamn me. Boy, I thought they came out the earth. They got so quick. Oh, boy, I said, oh, thank you, Mr. Police. Oh, boy, there you go. That nigga right there, I put the point in their ass out. He's that nigga, that mother too. Nigga, you say something. All oh, you nigga finna go to jail. Boy, I'm so goddamn happy. And shout out to the Dallas Police Department, man. Shout out to all y'all, man. Uh, yeah, they rocking with me. They love me too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was up, homie. Uh, and then just to, boy, just to have the cavalry come in and say, "You all right, Mr. Charles?" And we get you out of here. Jump in the back seat. And say, "Oh, boy, the, the, yeah, yeah, boy." That's I. I really want a police badge now. Did they go to jail? No, no. Would nobody? Would nobody? Uh, uh, <laughs> would no? Would no witness corroborate my story? And then when they went in to get the footage from the store, the store said no footage. We, we don't have no footage. But I saw they got a camera going. So the store wouldn't give up the footage. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to find out what drug houses they said they sell out of. And I'm going to get their drug houses busted. He got the paper putting that pistol out of <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell drugs over there, uh, across Hampton over there in the project. I'm, 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 I'm going to find out where they sell drugs at. And I'm gonna report they drug house for a whole month straight every day. And I'm gonna go to city council and talk about what drugs is being sold over there in West Dallas. I'm gonna get them niggas ass shut down and pop before Christmas. Like I done trap boy Freddie now.